I'm happy to show everybody something new. We'll be uh, cataloging this in our upcoming Christmas catalog for Lionel, which will be coming out very soon. Uh, one product that we will be uh, spotlighting is a brand new remote control system. It's part of what we call uh, Lionel Adventures, and it's a new remote system that is going to uh, be spotlighted for the very first time in our Thomas the Tank Engine series. Um, you're all very familiar, and I'm sure the LCCA members are too, uh, being so family oriented. Uh, with the Thomas the Tank Engine. Uh, we're going to be offering the Thomas the Tank Engine set in the Christmas catalog uh, as a remote control set. There will also be a brand new Christmas Thomas the Tank Engine and Thomas will have a uh, Christmas hat on and the passenger cars will have garland along the side so that'll be really cute. Um, the really great thing about this set is uh, this remote system will not rely on a transformer. It will rely on a remote control system uh, that is supplied with power through a power supply that p connects directly into a wall outlet. So everything on the outside of Thomas is the same, but you will have um, a remote control system, a remote, hand remote, as you see here. Um, as you can see, it's a very, very simple, uh, forward and reverse only, uh, no neutral. I think that makes it very easy for kids to use. Um, and you have your bell and your whistle buttons on this. There's also a special button in, in the middle here, and uh, that will be uh, Sir Topham Hat uh, announcing an all aboard message, which is going to be a, a nice additional feature. So the, the beauty of this is that you just, you have no transformer. You can uh, plug it in directly into your, your wall outlet. It uh, jacks into your, your train um, terminal track, and you're ready to run. The remote control is uh, communicating directly to the, to the engine. So once you've got that plugged in, you put it on the track, and it's, just, it's waiting to hear your command. So your uh, child or uh, dad can then uh, operate the remote, or mom, can operate the remote control, and uh, it's that easy to use. Um, the beauty, too, is uh, Johnny can take his locomotive that he's running on his remote uh, Lionel Adventures layout. He can take it over to, to Dad's legacy set or one that's uh, controlled with a, an 80 watt transformer, let's say. As long as that transformer, that power to that track is say 16 to 18 volts, he can operate that uh, Thomas engine on that same layout. So there's a lot of great uses for this. If, um, the remote controls uh, are specific to the different engines. So if you have Thomas or the separate sail Percy or James, the remote controls are color coordinated so you know which one goes with which. You can run both, your kids can run both of those engines on one layout at the same time. So we really feel that this is a, uh, a type of system that's going to be very uh, useful and interesting and exciting for uh, a, a large crowd of, of people, whether it's uh, for families or for the mass audiences. Um, it's going to be easy to use and it's also going to be more affordable. So I wanted to uh, let LCCA members know early uh, that we have this coming up in our Christmas catalog and we're really excited for everybody to see this. And then once we release it for a Thomas the Tank Engine, you'll see uh, in later catalogs the same system being used in other sets as well and, and other engines. So thank you very much. The tank engine will also have chuffing sounds. What's really great about this is that uh, even if it's operating, and it does operate at very slow speeds, you'll get that nice slow chuff. And as you speed up, that chuff will, will be part of that for sounds. So that's uh, an added sound feature. There is, uh, if you open the cab roof, a switch that allows you, if you want, to turn off uh, that extra chuffing sound if, if, if you prefer to do that. I also want to mention that the pulling power of these is, is really good. Don't think that you're getting less of a product because we're changing it to a different kind of system. Uh, it, it's a, a wonderful runner. We've run every single expansion pack or add-on tank car, add-on freight cars with the engine and it has no problems at all pulling. We're really proud of that, uh, the power of the Little Thomas that we have here. Yeah, I think there's there's uh, so much that's exciting that's going on in the train world and with Lionel in particular. Um, one really great piece of news uh, is the solidification of U.S.-made boxcars. Uh, 
Um, I know we announced it early a while back and we did have some original uh, hoops and issues to jump through with the original manufacturer that we were dealing with. But the, the bottom line is we found a new place to make our U.S. boxcars and so they're going to be reintroduced into the Christmas catalog as sort of stocking stuffers. But the original four um, presidential cars that you may recall, uh, we're very proud to, uh, to announce again that these uh, not only are we offering them again, but we already actually have samples, uh, initial samples for them. Uh, and we will have no issues at all with uh, providing these cars uh, for the 2012 line. So you'll see those in the Christmas catalog as well. And I'll make a, a little sneak peek announcement too that uh, the uh, Christmas box car uh, for Lionel this year will be a U.S. made box car. I know a lot of people are interested in, in collect those Christmas cars. Well, the nice little added collectability to this one will be the return of U.S. made to uh, the Christmas box cars.